Hello everyone and welcome to the first video in the Adobe Illustrator CC playlist. In case you don't have the Illustrator software downloaded already, there will be a link in the description box to download it from the official Adobe website. Adobe Illustrator is a vector-based graphics software and the main advantage of using vectors is that no matter what screen size you're on, scaling your graphics up or down will not result in a loose in quality. So basically you can use it to make typography or icons that can be used across various screen sizes and always they look their best and will not get pixelated if you enlarge them or try to make them smaller. Upon opening Adobe Illustrator CC, you will be greeted by this landing page and to create a new canvas, you can click on this create new button or you can press Ctrl N or Command N on a Mac. And when you click this button, you will be greeted by the new create new page and you will be asked to put in the dimensions or select from one of the pre-designed templates and Illustrator offers many pre-designed sizes for its canvases for mobile, web, print, film and video and art and illustration. So depending on what you need to use your graphics for, you can click on one of these. But for our first canvas, we will make something with custom dimensions. So we will go with thousand points in width and thousand points in height and we are not going to bother about the orientation whether it's landscape or portrait because this is going to be a square and you can change the points to pixels if you like so upon clicking ok we will get this new canvas that we have now created if you're already familiar with Adobe Illustrator, you would notice that this is not how the default workspace looks like and that is because I have tweaked it according to my own liking and preferences and whatever works for me and I would suggest you do the same and find out what exactly you prefer and would work for you. But for now, we will reset this to default by going to Windows and then going to Workspace where we will click on reset essentials and this will reset it back to the original workspace that Adobe Illustrator comes with and this is what we end up with so as you can see there uh, are a few elements to this workspace such as the toolbar to the left it has various tools like the selection tool and the pen tool and the text tool and we'll be familiarizing with these tools later in the playlist and to the right we have the workspaces such as properties layers and libraries so i'm personally not the biggest fan of this default setup and i like to move things here and there and put in some things that i like depending on what I need it for and I would suggest all of you also tweak the workspace according to what you want to do. So to do that you can see right next to the search Adobe stock we have this essentials drop down and Adobe already gives you the option of changing your layout according to what you need like painting or web or typography and you can even completely change everything and start from scratch by going to the new workspace option but we'll stay on essentials because i feel like this is a good place to start and to add other windows you can go to this window pane and i will start by adding color window and to place this color window with the rest of the windows you can basically drag and drop it wherever you like like you can drop it down with the other windows or you can even place it adjacently depending on where you want it and you can resize all the windows according to how significant you think they are or according to ease of access and you can snap them somewhere else and by using this arrow you can size down the windows but as you can see it's not getting any smaller you can also increase the size if you prefer so and by using the two arrows up the top, you can basically just close the window or open it. 
and i would put this colors window on top because i think i'll use it quite often and now after that i will add another window that i want which is in type and it is the character window so i will again drag and drop it where i want it to be now setting up the workspace really depends on what you need for a particular task or how you want your interface to look like so i would suggest all of you go through all the workspaces and figure out what you'll be needing henceforth and other than that this is all you really need to know to get started with the adobe illustrator cc interface and we'll be exploring the tools in detail in the subsequent videos that's all for today and i will catch you guys next time